say what up to our, to our new college friends. 199, 200. Where are you ladies from? We're from Russia. Russia? Yes, that is a blessing from the world. Smooth hands too, no, no misses. Oh, hello, hello my friend. They travel all over the world with their son. Oh my God, there's a bunch of poop on the floor. Sulamet Pagi and good morning from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. It's my last day here before I fly to Bangladesh tomorrow. And today, there's only one question on my mind. Am I gonna have to fight a monkey? Of course not, I would never ever hurt an animal. But we are here at the Batu Caves. It's time to be a tourist. We are headed inside here to the Batu Caves. Ahead of us lie 272 steps. And I mentioned that I might have to battle a monkey because I've heard the monkeys are so incredibly aggressive here I hear they're gonna try to like steal my camera if you come here with food they're gonna try to rip it out of your hand keep your bag secured they're gonna try to jack that too we're not gonna this isn't even scripted look at this we got we got one little guy right here or one little girl of course we're not even we're not even close to the entrance here but that's that that takes a lot of guts that that is an animal that is totally okay with his environment and with inter interacting with people you should also not feed the monkeys when you come here that's just a good tip for anywhere in the world don't feed the wild animals uh but so far the first impressions of the batu cave is more than monkey this is a pigeon party y'all let's not even waste a single second let's just go straight into these caves 272 steps we're, we're gonna count them together okay just to make sure that that's an accurate number it looks like later on at the end we can go into these other uh temples here looks like we got to take our shoes off no big deal uh if you come here i guess uh the, the women have to like cover up there he is there's one of them there's one of them he had, his, he had his tail up like a dog, happy and happy and on the hunt. I've actually got a strap on my GoPro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna strap that up right now, just, just in case they try anything funny. You're not gonna get the best of me, Mr. 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 Monkey. Not today. Uh, this is a Tuesday that we're out here, and yesterday was a major holiday. It was the king's birthday. So I'm guessing like people that wanted to come see this probably came yesterday. I'm sure it gets way, way more packed uh, during like the weekends. If you can avoid and never visit a tourist place on a weekend, <laughs> I keep looking over my shoulder because I feel like these these pigeons are gonna fly right into my head. They're flying so so close. Uh, typical Instagrammable photo sh photo shoot, uh, photo spot here. You've got everybody lining up trying to take their favorite selfie and and, and whatnot. But no interest in that. Look at that statue though. That was it took over three years to build that thing. I don't know if it's made out of 100% gold or what, but. That's, that's a cool, cool statue. It really reminds me of some of the giant golden statues that I saw when I was traveling through Thailand. Okay, the, the monkeys are everywhere. There's one over there in the scaffolding. They're like working on some sort of construction over here. And then I just saw, well, another one over there and another one over, oh yeah, they're, they run this place. They run this place, but they don't run me. Let me tell y'all that, all right? Okay, let's head straight into it. I guess when we get inside, it's, I, I didn't really look too much up. Whenever I visit a new country or anywhere new actually, I like to be surprised. So I looked up a little bit of history, but I didn't look up any videos on, you know, a tour or anything, a 360 tour. Like, I wanna see it from my own eyes. Wow, look at this beautiful, beautiful color. Like, uh, I guess you could call this a, a temple gate here. Everything is so bright, so vibrant. I, 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 I'm gonna, whoa, okay, this guy's like trying to break the light off there, shaking it, shaking it, shaking it. Oh, he's, he's amped up. That's that's a troublemaker right there. I, I don't know if these have been, it looks like they've probably been repainted a, a few times. I don't know if this is the original original paint. And this guy is just going to town, having the time of his life. Don't break the solar panel, buddy. We, <laughs> oh, of course, right when you enter or finish uh, the, the caves, the steps, you gotta go to the gift shop to get all your favorite souvenirs to bring home. No souvenirs on, on this trip. Oh, look, so we can also like, you can buy a, you can buy a scarf if you're a woman for about 15 Malaysian ringgit. That's about three, three dollars USD. So make sure to wrap those legs, ladies. All right, here we go. Okay, this looks awesome. I made sure to stretch, of course. We don't want to blow out an ACL or tear a hamstring on the way up. And let's just do it. Here we go. Now, I don't know. Are we counting this as a step? I don't, I don't know. It, it's elevated. 
We're not gonna count that as a step. Here we go. Quick ad break. Major thanks to the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. Here are the top five reasons NordVPN is your best travel buddy and a must for travelers all over the world. Number five, did you know you can find lower prices on airfare and hotel rooms by using a VPN? Number four, with NordVPN, you're able to access websites that you're not able to access abroad, like my bank back in the United States of America. Number three, NordVPN keeps me safe by protecting protecting my data and privacy when traveling abroad and using unsecured networks. Number two, when playing video games on the road, NordVPN allows me to connect to different servers all over the world and actually get lower ping than the countries I'm in. And number one, NordVPN allows me to access all my favorite streaming platforms abroad, whether it's TV shows, movies, or music. Many of those platforms are actually region locked throughout different countries, but by using NordVPN, I can access and watch all my favorite favorite TV shows, movies, and podcasts. For only a few dollars a month, you can stay protected online while having the freedom to browse, game, stream, and save money with NordVPN. Now let's get back to the action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, big step, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. What comes after 68? 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100! 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. I'm probably messing up a lot of people's selfies. Sorry, y'all. 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135. I don't think I've ever counted that high before. 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, like spitting. 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 151, 152, 153, 154, 155, 156, 157, 158, 159, 160, 161, 162, 163, 164, 165, 166, 167, 168, 169. Counting is the hardest part. 170, 171, 172, 173, 174, 175, 176, 178, 179, 180, 181, 182, 183, 184, 185, 186, 187, so close now, 188, 189, 190, 191, 192, 193, 194, 195, 196, 197, 198, 199, 200. 201, 202, 203, 204, can't stop, won't stop, 205, 206, 207, 208, 209, 210, 211, 212, 213, 214, 215, 216, 217, 218, 219, 220, 221, 222, 223, 224, 225, 226, 227, 228, 229, 230, 231, 232, 233, 234, 235, 236, 237, 238, 239, 240, 241, 242, 243, 
245, no, 244, 245, 246, 247, 248, 249, 250, 251, 252, 253, 254, 255, 256, 257, 258, 259, 260, 261, 262, 263, 264, 265, 266, 267, 268, 269, 270, 271. Everybody's staring at me. That was very loud. When I yelled 271, I like echoed, hey, look who's here to greet me. What's up, buddy? Oh, you're kind of a mangy looking fellow. Oh no, blocking more selfies out here. Well, now that we made it up without having a heart attack, whew, it's hot, it's hot out, y'all, let me tell y'all. Now we can see what everything's looking like from above. Okay, I didn't even notice. There were probably other monkeys perched. I just, I saw a few people like doing the nod. Yeah, yeah, this guy's counting, this guy's counting. All right, let's go inside here. And I can already tell, you can feel this kind of like, the air is so much cooler as we enter the outsides of the caves here. More pigeons, more pigeons. What do we got over here? Always, oh, hello. Some rain dropping. Always like to see if we can maybe see a little crazy insect or like a spider or something or a snake, but my guess is in heavily tourist areas like this, probably not gonna see any creatures like that. All right, Bill, let's make our way into this massive entrance here. It rained this morning, so you can still see the old rainfall from a couple, two, three hours ago starting to fall down. It's probably been held like in a little reservoir or something up there. Oh, what's this guy going on? Oh, I think you uh, you would make some sort of offering uh, over here. If I didn't tell y'all, this is a Hindu temple. Oh, look at this guy. He's got he's got a bag of trash. Wow. <laughs> nah, personally, not not what I would steal if I was a monkey. I'd want my GoPro if, if I was a monkey. No smoking. Done. No worries. Oh, of course, if you uh, if you need a little hydration, you come up here. You get a little bit of the pani. Get yourself a Pepsi. Raindrops, drip drop, drip, drip <laughs> right in my eye. Uh, here we've got another, like, this guy's selling some, like, milk, uh, more incense, uh, more stuff, uh, more like uh, what, I, what I assume to be some, like, Hindu religious ritual incense, things like that. Uh, maybe here you can grab one of these flowers to make as an offering. Hello, my friend. Hello, hello. All right, and, huh. I, I, I guess I was expecting something a little more cavey. This, this kind of looks like the entrance to like a mall or something to start things off. More gift shops, okay. But okay, check it out. The stalagmites or stalactites, I can never remember. Stalagmites might fall, but stalactites stay tight. I've lost all the knowledge that I gained in, in third grade uh, natural science classes. Sorry, Mrs. Caspers, please, please forgive me. All right, we're, do, we're just breezing straight past. Hello, hello. hello. <laughs> we're just breezing straight past all these all these souvenir stands. No interest in the postcards, no interest in the keychains. We want to see something cool. All right, now here's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we've got this really cool, ooh. Do you hear that monkey? <laughs> Here we've got some really cool uh, like sculptures and again just so so colorful it looks like they've installed some like mood lighting in there to make everything a little more green that's that's cool and of course there's steps leading up there but we can't go because everything is, is held behind all these bars here now what I like to do when I visit a place like this that's super famous super touristy and obviously you know a billion years old i like to look up the history after maybe you would want me maybe you would prefer me to share all these historical facts but i think it's more fun for me at least to look it all up after the fact but let me know what y'all think in the comments all right well okay here we go we got some more sculptures over here and uh, full disclosure i do not know a lot about the uh, hindu religion um so i'm not sure what gods these these might be um anytime i'm in a new religious environment where i don't understand things being respectful uh, is always priority number one. But man, pretty, pretty cool looking. Oh, we got some more pigeons up there. Pigeons, pigeons are fearless. Oh, look at there, we got some light shining through the cracks. Wow, this place is so, so cool, so massive. Oh wait, there's there's more steps. So I, don't, I can't even remember how many steps we got to, but I heard, I thought there were 272, so maybe we're, we're counting those as well. I guess we'll count those when, when we get there. Uh, okay, we got another temple over here. By the way, did I mention this is capital F-R-E-E -E free? Love a good tourist attraction where you don't have to spend any money. So all you gotta do is just spend the calories going up and uh, free admission. But I do think that some of these temples actually cost money to get in here. Okay, 
strictly no shoes allowed at the Dilarong Mamaki Cousette. No shoe, no shoe. All right, we'll, we'll take off our shoes. Okay, it's saying no shoes here, but then people are putting their shoes over here. So I'm gonna go over here and take off my shoes right here. All right, Saki Rocky's on. Let's go inside uh, this temple and see what's going on. Again, so colorful, the pinks, the purples, the greens. Just, just gorgeous. We're gonna treat this like an obstacle course because I, I want to avoid like all the puddles. We don't need any wet sockies because we got a long day ahead of us. Ooh, okay, we got some little peacock sculptures over here and a big puddle, just gonna jump over that. Wow, trustworthy, someone just leaving their, their backpack here. But uh, Malaysia, all things considered, very, very safe country. Kuala Lumpur specifically, I feel like I could leave my laptop on the street and, and no one would touch it here. Uh, perhaps I spoke too soon, there, there is a ticket counter here, so maybe we have to pay money to get into the main temple. We'll, we'll do that, of course, why not? But hey, they come to call the rooster. What's up, little buddy? All sorts of animals here. There was even a goat at the gate that I'll show y'all on, on the way out. It was just a little too noisy to film there. Uh, all right, what are we talking about here? Uh, what are those prices? <laughs> Is that 111 or 11? Uh, okay, I don't know what any of these things are. Fruit ar Archani? Monthly Karatagi Pusai? No idea what's going on here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask the person at the counter uh, what they know. Sulamet Pagi? Uh, one ticket? No, no. No? Free, free. Huh? Free, free. Free? Oh, it's free. What is this? Coconut? Evo. Lamb, lamb. Lamb? What? Oh. Uh, ah, uh, thank you. Thank you, my friend. I'm very confused because I think there was like food options you could buy in the menu there. There's something coconut ar aranchi. He was just like free. Okay, so the money goes back in the pocket. Oh, what's going on here? It looks like we got a guy. Hello. Wow. Uh, Hello. Hello. He's bagging up some sort of powder or something. <laughs> Not sure what that powder is. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? It looks like people uh, come here to maybe make some sort of offering. Oh, there's some more of that powder stuff. Looks like you've got almost like a mango jelly and like a dragon fruit jelly. Probably very, very wrong on all of these things here. And then, of course, we've got the, the, the ceremonial water filter, <laughs> water dispenser. Really regretting not bringing a water here. We might have to hit that gift shop a little later. Okay. Yeah, what is what is all this powder stuff here? I truly, I have not been to India yet. Spoiler alert, I'm actually going after Bangladesh. So I do not know much about, about Hindu culture. But I promise you, by the time I get to India, I'm going to learn a lot, lot more so I don't seem like an idiot. I know I play an idiot on camera, but I promise you in real life, I try to be a little more educated. Uh, here we've got some, like, again, a rooster type of... Thing? Oh, okay, those, okay, you buy the candle and you light up the candle and you put it over here. They kind of look like mini coconuts. That's how hungry and like food obsessed I am. Even a candle looks like something to eat. Sweat, drip, drop, dripping, y'all. Okay, so this must be like the, oh, I'm sorry. Just photo bombing everybody as I walk by. Sorry for tarnishing your once in a lifetime memories, folks. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so here is, I guess this may be the, the temple? That you that we enter into the area. Of? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, okay. They're they're perhaps worship, worshiping some sort of rooster here because that's a, a silver rooster. And, oh, it's okay. Sorry. No, all these poor people just moved because I'm filming. Now now I feel like a a, a jacket. Eh? Um, but wow. Yeah, it almost looks like sterling silver in there, and they've got these. I don't even know what you would call those, like, uh, they're almost like rugs, hanging pieces of fabric that are very, very colorful. Oh, and they're taking some of the powder and they're putting it on their foreheads. This guy just put it on his, on his forehead. Hello, my friend. How are you? Yes, he's putting it on, on the forehead. Is, is, th is that a blessing? Is that a... Yes, that is a blessing from the God. A blessing from, from who? The God. The God. It's like the blessing from the a blessing from the God. Okay, thank you so much for letting me know. Nice to meet you, my friends. Thank you. Well, there we go. We got it. We got it straight from the people that are that know about the religion. It's a blessing, and that really reminds me of Christianity because I grew up Catholic, and uh, we had a thing called Ash Wednesday where you would take the ashes and put them on your forehead in the shape of a cross. So it looks like the the powder forehead thing. Uh, stretching across multiple religions. Fascinating. Okay, we've met some new friends here. Everybody say hello to Daria and Ellis. Where are you ladies from? We're from Russia. Russia? Oh my gosh. If you if you could tell the world one thing about Russia, what would it be? Uh, 
you, it's lots of beautiful uh, cities and small town beside Moscow and lots of inter interesting, not very popular things. And uh, it's a good idea to go not in Moscow, not only in Moscow, but around the Moscow. To, to, ex to explore the rest of yes. Russia, because yeah. it's, yes. it's so massive. Like, I, I can't, when yes. I look at the map, I can't even understand very, very huge, how yeah. big it is. What are your favorite Russian foods? <laughs> what? What is that? Uh, it's, like, it's a meat in in ta taste, yeah, kind of. Like 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 buttons or something S like. So it's meat. Yes. And, and then it's it's wrapped in something. Ra wrapped in. Uh, like a dough. Yep. Oh, yes. that sounds delicious. So yeah. uh, kind of like an empanada in in, in Latin America, but yeah, I, I think I know. Yeah, but it's uh, steamed, not. Uh, oh, it's steamed. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, it's steamed. That sounds delicious. Well, thank you so much for uh, sharing a little bit about your country and, and saying hello. One of the reasons I make these videos is to show you how easy it is to meet people from all over the world and uh, just how many common things that we all share amongst us. So thanks, Daria. Thanks, Ellis. New more steps. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, hey pigeon, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're gonna get a little shower because it's starting to rain. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Mm, hey buddy. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, hello, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. That was child's play compared to the other one, y'all. Okay, wow. And now it opens up into this outstanding entrance to the sky. And you can see we've got all these plants and greenery growing all over the caves. Wow, it doesn't, it doesn't get much cooler than this, y'all. I'm so glad I came here. Part of me was like, uh, tourist attraction. Uh. No, 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 absolutely no regrets at all. Okay, we got another little trash thief over here. This guy's chewing on some sort of an apple and it is, it is monkey madness now. All right, the little ones are, are, are pretty cute, I gotta admit. Uh, I've been told that these are called like macacas, macaca monkeys. Comment below if that's wrong. Oh, whoa, whoa, that was a big, big mama monkey or something. Again, we're, we are keeping, keeping the camera at a far, far distance from those guys. I think that monkey stinks actually. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, another temple here. Oh, looks like we're also, uh, they want us to take our shoes off here. Uh, the donation box. Every temple around the world, every church, there's always a donation box. You gotta, gotta give a little bit, right? Uh, I'm not gonna take my shoes off here because it's super, super wet and most people there uh, are barefoot, so I'm just gonna walk around and, and, and try to get an up close look at this one. Kind of the same thing. It looks like we got a little peacock god or statue here. We've got our friend dressed in the sarong or a lugi, I think you call that. Kind of like a, a, a dress uh, almost or a skirt, skirt, excuse me. Wow, oh, okay. Is, is, is that my long lost brother? Yo, what do you think? His hair's a little more fuller and uh, that mustache, a little crazy. What do, you, what do you think? Should I try out that look for the next uh, the next country I go to? A little, little mustache action? Oh yeah, he's chewing on one of those mini bananas. Oh, that's a hungry, hungry boreal girl. Hello, hello my friend. <laughs> okay, well the good news is we, we did not have to go toe to toe or battle the monkey. There were a few people with their phones just hanging out then when the monkeys ran by, I thought it was about to be Snatch City, but uh, no, no, they kept it cool. I guess they're respecting to the, 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 the Hindu laws of don't, don't steal as well. Major respect, monkeys. Okay, bye monkeys. Uh, bye Batu Caves, let's go down. Like I said earlier, when we met our new Russian friends, you never know who you're gonna meet on the road and who's gonna inspire you. Everybody say what up to Tom and Carol. This, this is a nomadic family. They travel all over the world with their son. Tom and Carol, could, could you guys just tell us like, I, 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 a lot of families out there watch my videos and they think I could never do that. I could never travel with my family full time. What advice would you give them to, to take the leap, to show that it can be done? So there, there, there's always going to be a reason why you can't do it. The thing is just pull the trigger and do it now. 
the longer you wait, the more excuses you're going to come up with. And yeah, there's, it's never a good time. There's never a good time for us, but we're like, we're just going to set a date and go do it. Totally. I, I think that's the case with a lot of things in life. There's, there's never a right time. The best time is always now. You just, you just got to do it. You just got to, you got to pull the trigger. Carol, how long have you two been on the road together as a, as a family? Wow, this is our third year, right? Third so, year? Yes. Wow. <laughs> you probably know the exact. Two, two and a half years now, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. And so, what's been the best part of traveling with, with a child, and what's been the hardest part? I'll let you take the hardest part, Carol, and Tom uh, can answer the best part. Well, the hardest, I think, is just always, you know, as a parent, you always worry. Is he getting everything that he should be getting, like enough uh, time to play with friends and enough on his education, so... We always worry about that, but sometimes we just have to step back and see that, yes, sure. he is. Just, like right now, we met another course. family. He just went down with them. We met another family, another nomadic family like us, and they're playing with their kids. So he, it is possible to, for him to have enough friends and socialize. That, that's Because I think so that's cool. our biggest worry. Like, if he doesn't go to school, is he going to make friends? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, totally. The, the social aspect, yes. the social development aspect of yes. it all. But, I mean, you, you've given your, your son, a, 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 like, one of the greatest gifts yeah. that, that you could give to be able to see all these things at, at such a young age. I only got to Disney World up until the time I was 20, so I never, <laughs> I never got out of the country until then. And, Tom, man, what, what's the best part of all this? The best part is just... I mean, just getting to actually explore and, 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 and I guess experience things that you used to only read about. Like when I was a kid, we just read about all these things and it was just memorizing a bunch of dates and places and events and I probably forgot about it a week later. And with, with Thomas, it's, it's amazing because he'll just, out of, out of nowhere, he'll just come up with a, a fact about something we did six months ago. And it's like, oh, he totally got it. He actually remembered it. He got something out of it. And, you know, when we go to a place, it, it, what's really cool is, is he wants to learn about the place, so we don't have to force the learning onto him. He just wants to absorb it, and so it's great for us because we just get the material, give it to him, boom, oh. and it it's, it's just makes uh, it, it makes the education part really easy, actually. I love that story, man. Well, hey, I can't thank you enough for taking some time to share a little bit about your lives. Major thanks uh, to Tom and Carol and their son. They're not influencers or anything, so you can't follow them, but but hopefully their story inspires you uh, in just a little way. Hold up, new friend alert again. Everybody Hi. say what up to our, to our new college friends. Okay. What are your names? My name is Tanusha. My name is Filza. My name is Muhammad Ali. My name is Muhammad Ifan. Where are you from? I'm from Malaysia. I'm from uh, Malaysia. Malaysia I'm from... Everyone's from Malaysia? Yeah. Yes. Oh, amazing. We love, we love Malaysia. Could, could you tell us your favorite Malaysian food, one by one? Oh. Uh, I'm Nasi Lemak. Nasi like Lemak? Good Lema, choice. Lema, Nasi Lemak too? Lema. Roti Chana. Roti Chana, okay. Nasi Lemak is the best. Nasi Lemak uh. is the best. Oh, Thank you guys so much. It was so nice uh. meeting you. This is why you got to come to Malaysia. The people are so friendly. Mon Monkey's trying to, trying to jack the bag from our new friends here. Just keep it moving. That, that was the first potential uh, monkey theft that we've, that we've seen so far. Wow. That was... The monkey had... I was gonna say cat-like reflexes, but monkey-like reflexes probably makes more sense. We, you know, we can't leave any stone unturned. We can't leave any temp temple uh, unturned either. So we're gonna hop in here and take a quick breeze through and see what's going on. Some little birdies hanging out. Very, very colorful. A lot more shrines. It smells, it smells super good in these shrines with all that incense burning, y'all. Mega, mega flavorful. <laughs> um, okay, this one's super big. Wow, really, really colorful. A few more birdies flying around in here. Um, there, there's the the god Ganesh, Ganesha. Please, please don't be upset with me that I that I don't quite have the greatest knowledge uh, of, of Hindu. Oh my God! And there's a bunch of poop on the floor. I think a monkey took a poop in here or something. Yeah, we better watch out. Landmines. Landmines everywhere. Everybody, say what up to my new friend Muhammad from India. Uh, he told me that when I come to India next month to message him and, and we will get together and go eat some delicious Indian food. Yeah, okay. What's your what's your favorite Indian food, Mohammed? Hey, I would want to like biryani. Biryani. I love ah. biryani. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Chicken, chicken biryani when ah, I come yeah, to India. Really, okay. Thank you, brother. <laughs> okay, it's so hot. We, we need, we gotta get a little hydration before we pull up uh, and get on bond on here, you feel me? Okay, we got the fresh coconut. The chilled one is just under $2, seven Malaysian ringgit. I'm sure that's more expensive than what it costs to get a fresh coconut somewhere uh, throughout the city, but hey, I mean, the, the, the prime optimal spot, spot right here. Oh, this guy's got the chopping down. Wow, look at those smooth hands too, no, no misses. 
my <laughs> my adrenaline shooting up just watching this guy. Oh, look at that! Wow, big big fresh coconut in there. Assalam. I was a little confused. We had to go inside and pay and get this green coconut token. <laughs> okay. All right. Hello, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Here we go. A big old fresh old coconut. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Wow. Look at all the juice in this thing. I've had coconuts all over the world. This might be the heaviest. And like, it feels like there's a liter of coconut juice in here. Though. Mm. Okay, those electrolytes, baby. I needed that. I needed that to bring me back to life. Goodbye, Mr. Goat. Goodbye, Batu Caves. Okay, oh, I guess we didn't get it from this angle, but wow, look how massive those are when you see it from the outside. We started the video way up close, didn't even get to take in the full breath of that. That's, that's cool. All right, y'all, let's hop in this taxi and go uh, get out of here. 